Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Marissa, and today we're making some headshots. So we're gonna use really simple lighting since this is for a headshot, but I wanna give her some variety, so I'm gonna use several different backgrounds. And this video is gonna be about choosing those backgrounds. So for this first shot, I'm going for just a simple shot. I'm using the plain white wall, and we're gonna create some images that she might be able to use, let's say, as a banner on her website. She could put text over the empty space. For lighting, I've just got a low prime, which is an LED light. I've got its daylight balance, so I'll be able to match it with the light coming through the window in my studios, and I have it shooting through my scrim gym to give us a nice soft light. So for the next set of shots, I use the windows as the background. I'm still using my Lowell Prime to fill in on the first set. It's a three quarter shot where I'm just using the windows kind of as texture behind her. They're out of focus, I'm shooting into them, just giving a nice background that's different than the plain white. Then I brought Marissa right up to the windows and just used the window light coming through to shoot some nice headshots uh, with her near the windows. So for the last shot, I'm gonna put Marissa in front of the blue curtains in my studio. Since she has blue eyes, this is really gonna make them pop. I'm just using the window light to light this one, and it's nice and simple. So remember, even if you're just making a simple headshot, you can make it more dynamic by using a variety of backgrounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.